Hey everyone! Welcome back to Financial Futures. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. We've got some breaking news for all Social Security beneficiaries, including retirees, SSI, and SSDI recipients. New estimates just came in, and while beneficiaries are expected to receive an average increase of around $600, not everyone is thrilled with these numbers. We'll dive into why some are disappointed and what this means for you. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you'd like to receive up to $200 in free stock or $200 in free cash. According to Newsweek, this new estimate has many seniors worried. The Senior Citizens League predicts a 2.66% increase for 2025, slightly up from earlier estimates. For SSI beneficiaries, the maximum benefit for individuals is currently $943 per month. With the 2.66% increase, this will rise to $968, a $25 monthly increase or $300 annually. For couples, the current maximum of $1,405 will increase. I have all the details you need to know right here. So, let's get into it and talk through all the specifics right now. If you've been watching the headlines or following the videos here on the channel, you've certainly heard something about Social Security, especially over the last couple of years. But as of right now, Social Security is not going anywhere anytime soon. However, this program has been around for about 90 years, since it was signed into law back in 1935 with the Social Security Act. Back in 1935, the average life expectancy was around 65 years, which was also the full retirement age for Social Security. The idea was that people would retire, maybe collect a few checks, and then pass away. This was financially sustainable for the program at that time. People are now drawing on Social Security for much longer sometimes 20, 25, even 30 years. This has put a significant financial strain on the program because it wasn't designed to support beneficiaries for such extended periods. Currently, only 62.7% of people aged 16 to 65 are working. This means fewer people are paying into the Social Security system. Back in the 1950, there were 16 workers for every beneficiary. Today, that number has dropped to just 2.7 workers per beneficiary. This significant drop has created a financial imbalance where there are not enough workers to support each beneficiary adequately. Last year, in 2023, Social Security drew down its trust fund by $41 billion, even though it still has $2.78 trillion. Possible solutions like raising the retirement age, adjusting benefits, or increasing payroll taxes. One possibility is raising the full retirement age for younger workers. This would help align the program with our longer life expectancies. For current beneficiaries and those nearing retirement, their benefits should remain unchanged. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Would raising the retirement age for younger workers help secure Social Security's future? Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching.